The ingredients that we're going to need for our egg custard or our baked custard today are some eggs, of course. We have a little bit of carnation milk or some evaporated milk. We have some condensed milk. We also have some mixed essence. You could also use vanilla essence. We have some brown sugar, and we are using that demerara sugar, but you could use regular brown sugar if you want. And we have some nutmeg to flavor our custard. Very simple ingredients. All of the exact measurements and ingredients will be in the description box down below, so make sure you check it out. The next step, once you get all of those eggs into the bowl, is to start whisking them. And you want to whisk them really well. You want to make sure to keep whisking until all of those yolks and those egg whites are properly broken up. I tell them you could use this one if you don't have an actual hand mixer. You could use this because it's just as good. Or if you prefer doing it by hand. Give it a good whisk for about, about two minutes. You want to fluff up the eggs a little. So you want to make sure to whisk these eggs for about two to three minutes until they start to get a little frothy at the top. And you want to make sure everything is properly broken up and there's no egg chunks inside. We've been whisking here for about two minutes now, and as you guys can see, all of the eggs are nice and frothy on top, and that's exactly what you want. So at this point, what we're going to do is we are going to add in all of our brown sugar. And for this recipe, we think that brown sugar does give the best result. And we're going to give you the measurement of our sugar down below, but if you wanted to, feel free to add in less sugar if you want your custard less sweet. Whisk that sugar in for a little bit, it's time to go in with your vanilla extract or your mixed essence. And once you add that in, you want to give it a good whisk as well. You want to make sure you have a creamy consistency with the foam on top from the beating of the eggs. Once you've mixed in all of that sugar and the vanilla extract, it's time to go in with your carnation milk or your evaporated milk. And as I said before, all of the ingredients and the proper measurements will be in the description box down below, so you don't have to worry about that. It'll be easy to put together. And at this point, you just want to go back in and begin whisking it really well until all of those ingredients are mixed up together. Okay, so while Auntie Chandra pours that mixture into our baking dish, I wanted to let you guys know that before you start mixing all of these ingredients, you should have your oven preheated to 400 degrees, you want it nice and hot, and then once the custard goes into the oven, you're going to reduce it to 350 to 325 depending on how hot your oven gets, and then you'll allow it to bake in that lower heat. The reason why is because you want the oven to be really hot and then you allow it to cook at a lower temperature for a little longer in time. And of course, as you guys can see, we had a little bit of sugar at the bottom of the bowl, but that's totally fine, it'll disintegrate in the whole cooking process. So you just want to scrape everything into your serving dish. And the baking dish you use totally depends on how thick or thin you like your custard. Some people like a really rich and thick, dense custard, but it totally depends on your taste and your preference. So this right here is Auntie Chandra's little trick. This is not something that everybody does when they're making their custard. She's taking the condensed milk that you guys just saw and she's basically just pouring it over the finished mixture. The reason for this is because she finds it gives a nice little layer of creaminess on top of the custard. So all she's doing is she's swirling it in just a bit. You don't want to disintegrate it too much. You just want to get it mixed through a little bit. So we're going to do that and what we're going to do is pop this into the oven at 400 degrees as I said before. And as soon as it gets in that oven, we're going to lower it to 350 degrees. And Auntie Chandra wanted to let you guys know that on top, you should put a little bit of freshly grated nutmeg for some added flavor. This, of course, is optional, but it really adds a great taste. Since we're making such a small amount of custard today, we're only using six eggs. It's okay to lower your oven to 350 when you put it in. But if you were making this batch times two or an even bigger batch, you're going to want to put it in the oven at 325 degrees. That's what you're going to want to lower the temperature to because it needs to cook longer and it needs to cook at a slower temperature.